What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, caps, two sides, everybody in between. Don't be the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, if you'd like to donate, the links are below. If you're interested in my services, the links below. The personal readings will only be open for about another week. Just let everybody know. And then I might spontaneously open them up for certain time frames after that, okay? Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, there's two different farm situations I'm picking up, two different farm situations, but both of them, they're having huge trouble on the farm. I heard huge trouble on the farm. I heard one of them, they're incest relation uh incest situation one it's a cult type situation and i heard both situations they acquired stolen money from uh human sex trafficking oh so you i've been picking up so much human sex trafficking in here i like stolen money from human sex trafficking not um and that's just the truth so trouble on farm if this resonates so like a farm type situation. So they don't live in a city and eyes, urbanized area, I'm presuming. Or if they do, they have a big plot of land uh, co uh, portion for a farm if they do reside in a city and eyes, urbanized area. But a farm situation, okay? One is some kind of incest. So in the family, sexual in the family is incest, okay? Doesn't have to be... Um, in, um, pedophilia but it could be i didn't hear it was pedophilia it could be adults that's incesting but definite in the family this one is a cult situation so a culty cult situation two farm situations um but they're having huge trouble on the farm but both of these situations acquired money from human and sex trafficking other person or people not themselves um whether it's the incest some kind of sexual relationship in the family or relationships in the family or a cult type situation both farm settings i wonder if they know each other i didn't hear they did but i wonder if they do crops have died they will continue to die livestock eel will continue to be eel Steer. Steer. What the hell is a steer? I don't know what a steer is. Uh, I think that's a bull, ain't it? I, I don't know. I have to look it up. Okay, so crops have already died. They will continue to die. Livestock are ill and will continue to get ill. And I heard steer. I think that's a bull, but I'm not 100%. I live in the city. I like my little city house. So I don't know. Uh, let me Google the term steer. Steer, also called bullock, young, neutered, male cattle, primarily raised for beef. In the terminology used to describe the sex and age of cattle, the male is a, first a bull calf and, it left in, and if left intact becomes a bull. If castrated, it becomes a steer, about two or three years grows to an ox. Okay, so it's a younger bull that's castrated? Her steer. Let me show you the let me show you the um, picture. This is a picture of a steer. Okay, so I heard um, confirmation for my kitty. So um, crops have already started dying. They will continue to die and. Livestock already ill will continue to be ill. And I think whoever, whether it's the incestual situation that gained stolen money off human sex trafficking or the cult farm that gained um, money off human sex trafficking, however that resonates and applies, somebody's got a steer up in here. Um, at least one, if not more than one. So that's a picture of a steer. And I'm going to read it one more time. What is steer in agriculture? Steer, also called bullock, young, neutered, male cattle, primarily raised for beef. So they're primarily raised for beef. 
They're raised and then slaughtered for beef. Um, it sounds like they're castrated and they've got the big horns. Um, okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Somebody's got steer up in here. I heard they're going to continue to have problems, but they gain some kind of money, illegal money off of human and sex trafficking. Um, and it sounds like this is negative karma for their farms because they gain money off human and sex trafficking other person or people to buy their, um, maybe the seeds for their crops or to buy their steers or what have you, what have you. Um, how that resonates and applies. A Leo that is heavily connected to one of these farms. A female Leo is about to get so freaked out. She's about to visit one of these farms. She's about to get so freaked out. A female Leo, older, older, an older female Leo that is um, connected to one of these farms. I heard she's about to visit one of these farms. Sounds like she's heavily connected to a person or people in the ancestral relationship or relationships or the cult. Um, there's a reason she's about to visit one of the farms. It's an older female Leo. I believe she'd be 35, 36 or above. Have Leo and eight aspects or charts. Her, she's about to visit one of the farms. And uh, whether it's the ancestral couple one or couples one and the cult one or the cult one. And I heard she's about to get so freaked out. Um, so I think she's going to notice the crops have died or is dying or something to do with a steer being ill or some other kind of cattle being ill. Um, how that resonates and applies. I heard there's huge trouble on the farm. Spirit messages. Lovers, that's the ancestral and the cult type situation. Number 15 or 22, it could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 15 or 22, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 15 or 22, uh, lovers upright, official person upright. These people were warned years, years ago not to do this. And they did it anyways. These people, not to take human sex trafficking money. These people were warned years ago not to take human sex trafficking money. They were warned years ago not to do it, not to take human sex trafficking money, but they chose, they did not listen to their spirit guides, their ancestors, their intuition, and they were greedy and selfish and basically took human sex trafficking money anyways. Um, and it sounds like they're getting negative karma in the form of crops dying, something to do with an eel cattle, possibly an eel steer or steers. Um, however that resonates and applies. And it sounds like the steers are expensive because I heard they can be slaughtered for beef. And y'all know beef is expensive as hell. So Lovers Upright. One of the lovers of one of these people is about to exploit them. They're not going to know it. They cannot exploit others that they did in the past. They have not learned from their intuition or mistakes. And they're about to exploit them in a huge way. Oh my God, this is terrible. Why are people into exploiting people? I just want to make bring this out to the forefront. Why do people feel the need to exploit people? I feel dark web energy here. I didn't hear that, but I feel dark web energy. I heard they made a lot of money off person or people in the past with some kind of human sex trafficking in the past. 
but whether the, it's the ancestral relationship on the farm or relationships on the farm or the cult is type activity on the farm, um, somebody has a lover in this mix and I heard they're going to exploit one of these people, whether they're in an ancestral relationship or relationship or a cult type situation, they're going to get exploited because I heard they cannot exploit whoever they were exploiting in the past for human and sex trafficking. And apparently I heard they haven't le learned from their intuition or from the past. So, but they want the money. So they're very greedy and they haven't learned from their mistakes in the past. They haven't figured out that basically the reason their crops are dying and these cattle are getting ill um, and are going to continue to get ill and the crops are going to continue to get die is because they're exploiting people to gain their money. And they're exploiting, in this case, they're about to exploit a lover. Apparently, they don't value the worth of their lover or lovers, apparently. Um, so, I mean, this is terrible. It sounds like in the past, they didn't exploit each other. But this time, since they cannot exploit who they were exploiting in the past, they're going to start resorting to exploiting their own lover or lovers. Woo! Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. This is sick. I mean, these people are so greedy and materialistic. It's like money, 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 money. But they, but I'm sure they're like, woe is me. My crops are dying. Woe is me. My cattle's dying. Woe is me. My steer is ill, probably. There's something about a steer. But the thing is, have you had these people stopped and sat back and thought about why they're uh, cattle or eel, possibly a steer or steers or eel, why their crops are eel? No, because they're making their money the wrong way or some of their money the wrong way. And this aspect, this is the uh, ancestral lovers. One of one, at least one of them is about to get exploited or the cult people that apparently, I think they all I think they all sleep around. I didn't hear they did, but why are they in a cult on a farm? Um, they're pulling up the lover's energy, just saying. One of them or two or two plus of them about to get exploited. But it's somebody in this cult about to do it. And it's somebody in this ancestral relationship or relationships, two different farm situations, about to do it. This is so god sick. They have a hungry clientele base of sex-addicted people. A lot of politicians. They have not learned from the past. They have a hungry clientele of sex-addicted politicians, I heard. So somebody in this ancestral relationship situation or the uh, farm situation, ancestral relationship farm situation or cult farm situation, they have a hungry clientele of sex-addicted politicians. Um, I'm feeling dark web energy. I didn't hear that, but intuitively I feel that. But I heard basically they're going to exploit one of their lover or lovers to feed their clientele base, their already built-up clientele base of sex-addicted politicians. So I'm feeling dark web energy, but they're going to use one of their lover or lovers to do it. It's about to backfire. It's going to get to someone they don't want it to get to. And this person is going to get a huge ass wake up call. And they will not enjoy it. And they will take some action. Okay. Um, an undercover. An undercover. An undercover. I've been pulling in heavy undercover energy recently. Okay. So... One of these people in one of these farm situations, their sex addictions galore in here. So, I mean, heavy sex addictions. Heavy, that's confirmation. Heavy sex addictions in both situations. So, I mean, so much so they're doing it with their family members. Yeah, I would say so. That's sick as hell. Um, and I'm just, I don't care. People can say that's normal all day long. It's not. If anybody needs to hear that blanket statement, I, people can normalize this shit all day long. It is not. It's not normal. 
Go find somebody outside your damn family. You might need to hear that. It's sin. I heard heavy sex addictions in both farm situations, so they love to have sex and they love to make money off of human and sex trafficking in the past, but they can't anymore, so now they're going to start using their own. Um, but somebody in this mix has a, like a little black book of politicians, sex addicted politicians. Um, feeling men energy. I didn't hear that, but I feel men energy. It could be women in their masculine, um, possibly, but I feel mostly probably men. But I didn't hear if it was or wasn't. But however that resonates, um, one of them in this mix that's about to get sent there. Somebody in this mix has the little black book of heavy sex addicted politicians. So connections already from the previous human sex trafficking situation that wasn't them. They're about to utilize them because they're sex addicted with one of their own partners. But one of them in this mix is an undercover. Um, and I heard the undercover is going to basically make it backfire on this situation because they're not going to be going to enjoy it. And they're going to take some action on this. So, um, this is sick, man. The undercover is going to start getting nightmares and flashbacks of the past. The undercover is going to start getting nightmares and flashbacks of the past. That could be the official person energy, too. The undercover is going to start getting nightmares and flashbacks of the past. Um, so whatever... I don't know if maybe the undercover had, has had sex with one of these people that's about to be exploited in the past, or maybe, maybe, maybe the undercover was involved with the human sex trafficking of the past of the different situation. And that's why they're going to have the flashbacks of the past, um, nightmares of flashbacks of the past, but whether they've had sex with one of these people that's about to be exploited or they were involved with the human sex trafficking situation of the past um, or some other kind of situation that's going to cause nightmares or flashbacks of the past, how that resonates with us. Um, they're not going to enjoy whoever's about to be exploited. Um, and it's going to cause some kind of nightmares or flashbacks of the past. They're going to take some action. So good, good. We need to take action on this shit. This is sick, man. So this is the undercover that's going to be in the uh, little black book of politician um, energy of one of these sex addicted, either um, ancestral relationship farm people or cult farm people because there's two different farm situations. Undercover situation. They can be undercover fed, undercover policed, or whatever they're under undercover pi hell i don't know only this person knows who they are not anybody else heavy sex addictions here and i mean so much so like i said one of these people has a connection of little black book of dirty politicians Ew. let's pull one more and we have an older leo femme energy that's connected to some of these people they're about to visit the farm, and I think they're about to see all the dead crops or dying crops in something to do with a steer and eel cattle. I like my little city house. Spirit messages here, I put like this. My little city house needs work, but at least I don't have crops dying and uh, uh, at least I don't have crops dying and uh, steers dying and uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> I don't human and sex traffic people, and that's just the truth. Gift reverse number 17 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 17, gift reverse. And someone's chickens are about to start dying too. They have been using them as sacrifices for dark arts many years. Oh my God, what the hell? Whoa. And so, oh my God, this is sick. Okay, so someone's chickens are about to start dying too. Um, Somebody on this, one of these crazy-ass farms has some chickens, a chicken coop. And I heard basically they've been using them as sacrifices to dark arts for many years. But um, the chickens are about to start dying. Not by the hand of these people, the sex addicts. Um, just dying, it uh, sounds like. Unexpectedly dying. Unexpectedly dying. They're just about to unexpectedly die. Um, so not by the hand of the sex addicts intentionally sacrificing them for the dark arts basically uh they're just going to unexpectedly die 
Whoa. So one, there's definitely a chicken coop on one of these situations, one of these farms, if not both of them. I feel for some, you might know these farms. People do the strangest shit. Get reversed. I just want to travel and live life, fan. And there's about to be a very significant plane crash connected to one of these farms soon. They are in heavy contact with a person about to die in this plane crash. They're going to have a lot of questions to answer. It's a feminine energy. Oh my God. And there's about to be a very significant plane crash. A femme energy is about to die in a plane crash soon. But they, these sex addicts are very heavily connected to the femme energy about to die in a plane crash. I heard they're going to have a lot of questions soon. Probably from police or feds or investigators or PI or somebody. It's a femme energy about to die. I think she might be one of their lovers is what I think. She definitely is. Has been in the past a lot. Okay, I heard she definitely is. She has been in the past a lot. Yeah, it's confirmation. So, the femme energy about to die in the plane crash used to be either one of their lovers or all their lovers. Um, she definitely was sexually connected to, it sounds like, several of these people on both farms, one farm, or what have you, what have you. But I heard she's about to die in a plane crash soon. And um, they're going to have some questions to answer by investigators or feds or PIs or some police or somebody in the official person energy um it's not going to be a gift that she passes away she has been heavily sexually connected to these people i think she has sex addictions like they do too i mean if you are hanging around with a cult or in or ancestral farm people and they have connections to dirty politicians um with uh um that like human and sex trafficking yeah i would say that's some dark shit and that's just the truth so it's not going to be a gift that this femme energy sex addict um sex partner or former sex partner of these sex addicts is about to pass away uh, because they're going to have some questioning to do basically this is it's like lucy you have explaining to do And someone in this mix works for the government, but through many series of shame events, they're about to be terminated. It's going to shock the hell out of them. They thought they had heavy job security, but they're about to be exposed for so many things. About to come for many people they have they would have never thought exposed them. They're about to get terminated. Illegal government human experiments human experiment program in the past. Oh my god, and one of these people works for the government, I heard. So official person, government energy. Um that could be state, federal, or local, how that resonates and applies. I didn't hear what part branch of the government, what part of the government. There's many, you know, whatever, whatever, um, many aspects of the government. But one of these people works for the government, masculine or feminine. I heard they're about to, unex I heard they've been working for the government a long time. But basically, they are about to um, uh, get terminated. It sounds like a, a rifle termination. I heard they were involved in some kind of illegal human experiment program in the past. Um, and basically, many people are about to speak up on the human illegal ex uh, government human experiment of the past. They could have been in the government um human experiment or known the victim or victims in the illegal government human experiment of the past and they're about to basically stand up for the victim or victims whether it was them or somebody they care about um and the person in the government is about to lose their job because they made the free willing choice to participate in some kind of illegal it's like it reminds me of like an illegal case study where somebody does not give proper consent authorization they just decide to trample over people's human rights and liberties to exploit and abuse them 
that reminds me of like an illegal government human experiment. And that's just the truth. When you do not give consent authorization, when you do not give your consent, that it's criminal. And that's just the truth. So, but somebody's about to expose them. Maybe it's you about to expose them. Um, but I heard of several people about to step up and do this. And it's going to cause them to lose their job. I heard they never thought they would get uh, terminated. Never thought, they thought they had job security. They thought they were good. But they're about to lose their job. They are about to be shot. Get reversed. They're about to lose their job. They're about to be shot. And I'm assuming, since it's a government position, they probably won't get their pension or retirement. I'm assuming. I didn't hear that, but I'm assuming they probably won't. I'm assuming they haven't made it to their 10-year, their 20, um, well, their 20-year mark or what have you, what have you, whatever it is in the government these days. I don't know. I don't work in the government. But um, and uh, but I thought it was a 20-year mark, to my knowledge, and um, unless it's changed. And um, I'm assuming they haven't, and they will lose their retirement pension, I'm presuming. But... You plug it in how it resonates, okay? These farms are about to go down in huge ways. These farms are about to go down in huge ways. And one is going to apply for relief. But it will be denied, surprisingly. One of the farms is going to apply for relief. Some kind of relief. Maybe, I think it might be from the government. They've been picking up government energy. I think they might apply for relief from the government. But I heard they will be surprisingly denied. So gift reversed. I'm trying to apply for relief from the, somewhere. I'm assuming the government, whether it's state, federal, what have you, what have you. Some kind of relief. Um, I'm feeling like grant energy or something. But I heard they will be shockingly denied. So grant, um, not grant. I didn't hear grant. I feel it's a grant though. Gift reversed. Their relief will be shockingly denied. Um, one of them. You plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys. Namaste.